This video is sponsored by Adobe. One of the great challenges in my life is that people don't use object styles enough. You're probably using paragraph styles and character styles already. If you're not, slap yourself on the wrist. You, right? you need to be. But object styles is one of those things that you just, it's hard to get InDesign users to be using. But I'm just going to jump in and make a new object style here um, with a big old stroke, let's say a big 10 point <laughs> the giant 10 point stroke here. And what's great about object styles, of course, is just like any style, if you, all you have to do is click on it and it applies all that formatting. You could have a fill and a uh, text wrap and all that stuff. Mine just has a big pink stroke around it. Um, the problem that I've had with object styles, it's easy to make an object style, but the problem is when you, uh, when you import an image, let's say I'm importing this image, I almost always want to have an object style applied to it. So I place, and then I go select my object style. I, then I import another image, and I place it, and I apply the object style. And so there's always this one-two kind of pattern that happens. Or I, or I place a bunch of images, select all of them, and apply the object style. It's really annoying. What I really want out of life is a way to say, apply this object style when I place this graphic. <coughs> Every time I place an image, I want it to have an object style applied to it. That's the way it should be, in my humble opinion. You don't want to use basic. You never want to use basic. You don't want to use basic paragraph style. You don't want to use basic object style. You want your own style. So um, let's say we want, I've made one here, the object style one. I want that to be applied every time. And so the trick is to edit it. And you know, that, you know this, right? That you, you never, in any, par in any style, paragraph character, table, uh, or object style, you never double click on it when nothing's selected on your page because it then becomes your new default for your document. And then it gets applied to everything you create from now on, and you're not very happy anymore. So in order to maintain your happiness quotient, you always want to, you don't double click on styles, you right click on them and choose edit. Always, always, always. So right click on this, um, and I need a feature in here that says make this my new default style uh, whenever you're going to apply an object style. And you'd think it would be basic graphics frame, the one that's in there. Yeah. Can you see that? You'd think it would be, but it's not. That doesn't work at all. So the only way to do this is to give it a special name. And the, sty and the style name is called place gun frame. So if we create place gun frame, all we do is name it that, and it will apply to every You never have to select the name of that style to no. apply it. It does it no, automatically. It just knows. It knows right. there's some little piece of code in there that says, look to see an object if there's an object style called place gun frame. Because yeah. that when you place an image, this thing, you know, this thing here is the place gun. This yeah. was an old thing from PageMaker. They called it the place gun. And then now it's just called the place cursor. But right. no, it's it's a gun. It's a yeah. mm -hmm. it's a high powered. High powered gun. Anyway, click and it just applies that object style for you automatically. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.